Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Hi guys, and welcome back to today's Saturday stream. Back at university. Camp angle's position weird. We'll fix that just a hint. There we go. So, yep, we got ourselves a brand new intro uh, video that I scrapped up. I also made a new outro video that you guys will see at the end. Pretty similar, but I updated it for Asphalt 9 since... Um, one of the main topic talking points is, um, Asphalt 8 got murdered. It didn't die, it got murdered. Like, really, I'm not kidding about that. This is not just a, oh, the game's been dead joke. The game got murdered, like, slaughtered, decimated, abused, <laughs> whatever you want to say. That game just got trashed this week with this new update absolutely trash and I'm kind of glad I don't play that game anymore because I would be very sad with all the changes they made to Asphalt 8. So yep, we're gonna start with our free pack as usual in our kind of better Asphalt 9. Definitely better now after that Asphalt 8 update. Which is a shame. Also buy our Sin R1 blueprint which we got to 3 stars so at this point we're just burning trade coins whenever we get them. Uh, no packs that we're going to be thinking about immediately today. Perhaps the Apollo again, but I don't think we'll need to do that. Because it's not too necessary. I could do that to guarantee myself a 4-star Regera. But I'm not sure if I want to do that if we only get 3 races with the Regera. I've been doing a lot more cool stuff. Which, by the way, yes, we finally unlocked the Regera. After that terrible disappointment last week. We got it literally like a few hours later after the auto show. I claimed the car from Club Rewards. And then from there on the rest is history. I got it to three stars. So we're very close to four. Hey Brenton, our first member. Welcome to today's stream. Hopefully you'll enjoy the show because we have a lot of talking points today. But let's start by not wasting your fuel by playing the last day in the Koenigsegg Regera's event, which is going to need the Regera itself. Claim these club rewards, which is a cool three blueprints. Unfortunately, though, we're going to need um, a few more than what's given here. We need three left to start up to four stars, which, again, we're going to get so close, but so far. So this race, um, I only do this once. Just because um, we'll get the Regera blueprint and I'll do the rest on my own time. But yeah. For this blueprint we just need to win today's race. Nothing else really special. Oh wait. I should probably fix this. I mess this up every time. Adjust the game screen. Yeah I know. I just gotta wait to pause it before I can do that. There we go. That's much better. See, I play in full screen. And on stream, I play it on windowed mode, so I always forget to switch it. Yeah, I decided to stick with the orange color. I really like it. Um, also, I found that the car is um, not too hard to drive. I actually really like it. I like driving this car better than the Chiron. And I wasn't paid to say that. I actually like driving this better than the Chiron. Here's our standard meme track, but it shouldn't be too bad now. It actually works in solo, despite me showing you guys endless times that uh, it doesn't work. AI are still bad, but um, our car is pretty well upgraded and it's pretty fast in a straight line, so... Unfortunately, this track's not very appropriate for that. AI aren't helping either. But this 3 star should not be ignored. It goes 293 miles an hour. Um... Just down the straights with Nitro, so this thing is fast. It's the fastest car I currently own. Uh, but around the track, I still think the Bugatti Chiron's faster, especially comparing the stars that I currently have, so... We'll have to um, see what this looks like at six stars, because we've only seen one TLE that was exclusive somewhere in Asia. I forget if it was Japan or Korea, maybe both. I know they did multiple stuff with the Regera. No game audio. What? Really? No game audio? 
Oh yeah, I disabled the capture card. Okay. Please don't be an air rape. Please don't be an air rape. I hope it's not. I can't tell. Alright, sorry for not including game audio. Great start. But yeah. All that A and confusion, again, the quote real racing. Yeah, we got the three star Venser, but the quote real racing in this game, of course, gives me the win every time. It's James. Uh, and we easily beat that time goal. Get a cool 88 tokens. It's a rape. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. We have to pull off the IT trick, don't we? I hear you guys. <laughs> IT solution every time. It's like I could predict this. Yeah. Literally, all I do is just unplug and replug in the capture card, and somehow it works. Talk about A8 dead. I will. Let me just make sure the audio works. Is the audio better? I don't know. I'm the multiplayer. Because that's all we have to do. We only have a selection of seven races today because, um, or six, I guess, because we already used one in the Riera. And there's no way I'm going to risk my points. This is the hardest multiplayer season in terms of getting a Legend League. Ever. And, um, we have a decent amount now. It was really bad two days ago, but now people are finally starting to break in. And perhaps maybe we can join the party today. But, yeah. Audio's good? Alright, that's good. Let's keep going. A little quiet? Well, hopefully you guys can hear my voice. I tend to talk quiet, so... That's why I, um... Toned down the game audio. But perhaps I can bump it up a little bit. Just a hint. There we go. So... Yeah. Um, Asphalate. Oof. Three Regueras. And we got Doctor, and we got James. We got a giant squad here. Hey! Hey! Steering wheel! Somebody tell him to give it to me! Come on! Move! My car is the highest ranked, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to win this one. Although if we do, we can get some big rank gains here. I'll tell you that. But yeah, as fully it got updated, um, again, I think it's update 32 now. It doesn't matter what number it is, but the point is, uh, you can no longer replay Mastery Races. That's the most extreme change, is they got rid of Mastery, like, replaying. But from now on, you have to uh, do it once, and you're done. You have to use Season 9 to farm. Which really, really sucks for those who still play Asphalt It's not ideal for anyone. Uh, the second big change is they made all of the cars and also... I couldn't pass. And now we're vulnerable. That's the one bad thing about this car. Is you, once you uh, lose all your momentum, you're vulnerable. In a straight line, this thing's a beast though. But yeah, all the pro... Um, card requirements for each car got heavily um, increased. And not just engines. Um, the amount of cards, the amount of techs. It's insane. Alright, so now we're going to chase this Riera. Don't get taken down by Doctor. Not going to start a war there. We're going to take um, the bottom route because we can go at top speed longer. Make some time. And hopefully we can go for the pass, but the new cars are even worse. The Zeus um, Sigma, the on paper new king, it's not. It's really bad, as usual. Okay, I thought I was going to get squeezed right there. 
All right, fair, safe. Let's play safe. I'm gonna play safe for this one. I won't take it down. I'll let you get the points. I understand the risk. I just want more points. There we go. And we're past. This car is so uh, awesome. It's not the 19 though. 19 is still my favorite car in this game. But uh, the Zeus needs 90 legendary electric engines. If you remember correctly, the R8 e-tron special edition needed 8, I think. Also, only up 12. Hmm. It's something. But, yeah. From 8 to 90 engines. I forget what the BMW i8 needs, but it also needs some absurd, um... Amount of engines. All the cars in this update need some absurd amount of engine cards. It's horrible. And, um, all the existing cars got their pro kit requirements upped. And yeah, that's right. 90. Not 19. 9 zero, 90 engines. Legendary Electric, so it's a one-off engine. Kind of like the custom racing engine. It's trash. Oh my god. So we got Doc, we got Brenton. Full lobby, regardless. And uh, this is a high stakes one because we're going to be on Rome, which is a horrible map for the Regera. 72 from the BMW i8. Thank you, Ace. Uh, but see, that's absurd. That's trash. And I think it's i3 engines, which is a brand new engine card, which is like the i5. It's going to be used for only one car and need a stupid amount of engines for it. So... I'm not defending this uh, as well late on this one in any way. You know, that game just got trashed. It got executed publicly horrible. I feel bad for people who still play the game because they literally got screwed. And we're about to get screwed on this ramp if we don't change something. Oh my god. Alright. Take this route. Be safe. Okay, just land it. Don't do anything to manipulate it. Thanks, Uni Wi-Fi. This is gonna screw us in the end. Brenton's fighting somebody in the front. Oh, he wrecked the dock. Thank you, Brenton. I love you. All right. Let's try to get around him without oh, killing him. I don't want to murder him for saving my ass. All right. Just want to get around him. Don't want to kill him. No, okay. I don't want to kill him. Don't kill. There we go. Uh, failed barrel. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. I don't want to kamikaze him, and I don't want to kill him, but I want to get past. At the same time, I'm losing time to the other Regera. If there is one. Who's behind me? I can't tell. I wish... Oh my god, I just completely overshot the ramp. This thing is too fast. What the hell? You see, I saw that. I just completely overshot that ramp. Uh-oh, now we are gonna lose some big ranks here. I need to get to third to salvage this race. And to do that, we're gonna need to pass. He just tried to 360 me, because he saw me coming through. Pro member. Alright, somebody got knocked down, so at least I inherit fourth, but I don't think I'm going to steal third on this one. Damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it. I'll take the L on this one. I won't lose too many points. I don't want to risk my disconnect on this. Damn. Get him in so good, too. That was trash. It all went down when I overshot that ramp. What's the damage? Please be equal. Or you know what? Please give me no points. Please, server, just crap yourself on this one. Come on. Do it. I think I just got the best connection error in existence. No rank drop from that. 
that was the single best uh, way to prevent, and I did not manipulate that. For once, I bless my university Wi-Fi. Bless uni Wi-Fi. <laughs> I absolutely love Wi-Fi here. <laughs> and we got Brenton, again. Illuminati. 1v1. I don't know, I don't feel the adrenaline to get from the other racing. I have a poor connection. Alright, Uni Wi Fi is back. Uh, Brenton's cutting out as well. But we're able to keep up. Let's see if I can uh, add to this. Here we go. I gotta make a pass. Let's see. See, he goes down the inside. Takes like a V-shaped route, but I don't think that's faster. Alright, here we go. Alright, sorry if this ends in a knockdown. Yeet! <laughs> I'm going around the outside! Oh man, that was good. That was good. But now I lose four. That was a good race. That was close. I went around the outside. I didn't have a shockwave though. So. What's my favorite food? Deep dish pizza from Chicago. Oh, we got Brandon again. And we also got a Regera and we're on Scotland. That's, that's not good. This is a track that favors the Regera. If driven correctly. But if he knows this guy knows how to drive. Then uh, we got a problem. Brenton won't be our only, uh, thorn. Alright, so I'm gonna go the right again. Just because I can't build up Shockwave right away. I just hope that the Regera doesn't, uh, ram. Straight through our path. Alright, here we go. Ooh, the Regera's taking the V-shape too. That's a really bad idea. Because it makes you very vulnerable now. Okay, I have to take the slower rate. Okay, that was scary. We're gonna get past from the Regera going up, aren't we? Okay, now we're in danger. Oh my god, that was so close. I'm doing too much risk here. You know what? I'm gonna go down the inside as well and see what happens. Let's see, this is a bad idea, but screw it. Okay. 
I'm just gonna disconnect from that one. Alright, note to self, don't take routes you don't know how to do. Well, this session's going great. We're not hitting a legend today unless we get some stupid lucky race. Okay, this one's bad, because if we win this race, we're only going to go up two. If we lose this, we're going to go down 20. And we're on a track that favors the Regera. Alright, come on, Porsche. I know what you can do. Just don't get blocked by this uh, GTR. Don't get squeezed by him either. Just let the GTR do GTR things. This Regera knows how to drive, he's just gonna walk right through me. So we have to build ourselves a gap early. Wi-Fi is kicking on every occasion it could find. Uh, if only this was one lap. But this is where the hard part comes in, because now the Koenig is going to have full power. And we are going to have our only weakness, which is our top speed, crippling us. But if, this, if this thing had higher top speed, it would be too broken. So I understand why it has to have a relatively low top speed. Okay, make sure we don't make mistakes either, but we're done to the hard part of the track. Fortunately, we're only going to go up like two or three from this race. But we'll get back what we lost from Brenton. Alright, what's the moral of the story? Up 9, that's actually not so bad. We are at a net gain, except, um, you know, I was at like, what, 1640 or something like that when we started today. Alright, we have one more race to go with our 918. Unfortunately, though, there's only so much fuel. The pace is very slow. That's the end. That was some good racing, Brenton, though. Alright. Ooh, let's go. Big ranks here. Big rank opportunity here. It's also going to be very difficult. But we're on a track that I like. We're going to be starting from the back. But big rank opportunity here. Big rank right here. No Regera. And besides that Huayra, we are the fastest car on here. I might have to worry about Cheesy. But, uh, and Freeze, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, well, don't have to worry about Freeze anymore, I guess. Alright, let's go. How do we approach this? One single nitro right now. Let him hit the traffic car, let him lose his speed. Going perfect nitro to keep some speed right here. He's marginally faster than me. What happened there? Okay, he's gonna end up killing me. 
they're just existing. So this connection is really shoddy. Alright, come on. Handling can help us, maybe? No, he's just too quick. The fire is just, uh... That edge better. Okay, I was hoping for shockwave right there. Alright, lap two. Maybe lap two happens. Something could happen here. It's probably gonna be us crashing, but... Who knows? Anything could happen. I just need to drive kind of, uh, fast. <laughs> That's risky, but we made it. Which he's just too quick. I'm driving as fast as I possibly can and taking as little risk as I can as well. Because I want to be here for opportunity. But he's just too quick. The only way I can win this race now is basically if he crashes. I don't think that's happening. He has way too much of a lead to not to risk anything. Unless his connection drops out. But I don't think that will happen. That only seems to happen to me. But, um... We'll go up 4 from that, which is a shame. We could have gotten some big rank from that. 2 star Apollo is decent, but it's not a max 918. That's the thing. It's not a max 918. <sighs> well, what now? I could, um... I could watch the ads to get some more races out of this. Potentially... Drop our uh, wait time to something a bit more favorable. What's my favorite color? Red. It's always been red. It's part of why I liked Ferrari as a kid. Because they were red. So yeah, let's talk about F1 livery since we're in downtime. So, last week we had the Haas known to us. This week we had the entire rest of the grid. Besides the 2019 official Alfa Romeo livery, and I guess the Red Bull one too if you count that. We have seen every single car now. In its uh, original form. So. In terms of liveries. My favorite currently is. Um, besides Ferrari. Because that's biased. I'm just going to leave Ferrari out of all of this. Because whatever I say will be biased. Of the non-Ferrari. I love Red Bull and Mercedes. The most. Red Bull I think is. Um, awesome with that like dark blue and red. But unfortunately it's just a test livery. So, I actually really like the Mercedes livery as well. Uh, who doesn't use VPN? Um, not that one. Ooh, slot machines. But uh, the Mercedes actually looks really nice. I love the gradients with the little silver arrows on the side. It's really good. I love the Renault livery, although it's pretty much the same. So, um, I think the again, the Haas is really nice. The Toro also is nice. The Alfa Romeo is a weird car, but... They did say they were going to be the most uh, innovative team ever. But um, Williams is trash. Force, I mean Racing Point. I'm just going to keep calling them Force India at this point. Because they're so like... I don't know. They're so just ingrained. I don't want to call them Racing Point. That's a trash name. But um, Racing Point is okay, I guess. Um... And then Ferrari love. McLaren's nice. Toro Rosso is the same as last year. I really love the front wings, though. That's my favorite uh, part of these 2019 cars. The front wings are so awesome, and I love to see the differences from all the simple front wings. Uh, my favorite is the, the Renault's front wing. I just love the Renault front wing. It just looks so clean. Uh, Alright, so what's our time now with this? 
hour and six. You see, we're gonna be dropping this. Alright, I'll do one more ad to get to like, what, 40 something minutes. We'll wait off the half hour until it gets to 10. Then we'll use another ad, hopefully. Or no, maybe I'll do two more ads. I don't know. I don't know how many ads I have left. Your iPad's not working? I don't know what to do, man. I'm giving GameLoft money, though, from doing this. Yeah, 49 minutes. Okay, we're gonna drop this to, um, by 12 minutes or so. This again. I hope Bottas does good this year. I really wanted to, but I feel like this is a do or die year for him. Did I buy New Year packs? No, because I already have a Max 918 and an NSX. I would have just bought Huayra packs if I had known I needed it. I don't think I do. Um, honestly, if anything, the Apollo pack might be the most juicy one. Alright, that's going to be done for now. We'll wait the 26 minutes until we get to below 10. Well, we're blocking a lot of people trying to join the club. But, uh, what can we do? You see we're getting this weird part of the stream where there's nothing to do. I've gotten pretty much all these events. There's the A-Class event that uses the 918, of course. I can try to improve my time on the, uh, ooh, nice. On this weekly competition, which gives trash rewards, we can try that. Just a bit. That's not going to kill 20 minutes. Best pack is Apollo. In real life, I wouldn't own either. Maybe the Apollo, but um, I'd go for something else. But in this game, I own both the cars. But my advance is at three stars. Um, Apollo is at two right now, but only three to go to three. So if we buy a pack, we are guaranteed a blueprint. Or a star up, I guess. But that's 750 tokens I don't want to spend. Alright, also, I'm trying to be really fast on this one. For some reason, I can't nail a lap on this race. This is an okay lap, but it's not, um, I don't think it's going to be my PB. Unless I get a perfect end. Ooh, I did beat my time. Just by a tenth, but it's something. I'll move us up a little bit. Oh, turn on the sound. Yeah, I forgot to do that. That happens when you watch ads. My organization skills are terrific in this race. Or in the stream. Yeah, Regera loves the Himalayas. Because there's a lot of high speed sections there. The Northern King series is hard because, like, the rank progression is really, uh, slow. That's really the problem. It's too risky. There's only two cards you could really use. Three if you have a maxed Huayra. But you can only use the Regera, the 918, and the Huayra. And you need either of those upgraded. Also, how did the AI just get a suddenly good start? And we trashed the run. Alright, again in a 3 fuel. This game's totally not streamer friendly. I don't know. Asphalate's too sad to come back to.
Yeah, I think the Northern King is one of the hardest MP seasons ever. The Agera RS. It's not in the game at all. It would be an absolute beast, but then it'd be another high S-Class car to fight for, and I don't want to do that. Let's try not get killed by the AI. Also, the AI are suddenly good now, for some reason. So far, so good. This is actually really good. No, 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 Oh, I messed up the end and we didn't improve. We lost like two or three tenths there. Okay. So, what next? I'm gonna initiate a club race to kill time. We'll use our six star Tryon. I'm going Himalayas. I wish I could use the new tracks on club race, but I can't. You want to do the thing with uh, where you bounce clubs to get your blueprints? It's very nice, but you need to find the right people to do it. Use the Shiran? I guess we will. First, I want to sample this uh, six star Tryon. If we can find somebody. Drive the vents there? We'll do that. just need to find some people. Any day now. <laughs> Probably they're giving away regular blueprints. So are um, the other club, and this is where I got uh, the extra regular blueprints from. Is we were doing something with this club. Hey, Arsenal's here. Here, want to take the Camaro? Yeah, I thought so. And there he goes. All right, here we go.
This Trion's fast, but it's not like the Regera. It's too like unstable and light. I know that some people can like make this thing work, but I can't. Sign the petition. Uh, I find the petitions old, but petitions aren't gonna work. Game's too dead. Oh, we had the same idea. All right, little well, GG. We'll try next with the Venser. Yeah, I'm not part of pro. Alright, let's try the, uh, let's try China. That's another good high-speed trick. Your oof overlord is back. <laughs> yep, Marlin's back. I was kind of not talking about that to wait for him to do his own little <laughs> introduction. <laughs> so, alright. Move the mic a little bit closer in case that, uh... You also did tilt it away. Did you tilt it back to where it was? Yeah, I tilted it back. I'll move a little bit more though, just for your benefit. But yeah, you guys haven't seen Marlin in like since December, <laughs> yeah. so like over two months now. <laughs> the Oof King is back. Do you know how to solve a three by three or a five by five speed cube? What's a speed cube? Is I think he needs a Rubik's, Rubik's cube? cube. Yeah. Um, I've never solved either. I had one of my friends uh, solve both of my Rubik's cubes that I just couldn't figure out, and I just like. <laughs> Just display it. <laughs> Oofa Bogo? Oh, wait. Oh, Oofa Bogo. Oof to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> so here's this Venter. Is it as trash as it was in 8? Um, kind of. At the low stars, it's pretty trash, but at 5 stars, it's really overpowered. But you need a lot of patience in order to get this thing to 5 stars, and that's something I don't have. So, I stopped at 3 at this car. Car toys and games. My favorite car in this game, or just in general? Because those are two different things. <laughs> and that applies to me as well. It's Marlin with an O, not a Y or an I. Although I've never spe seen it spelled with a Y. That's a cool, that's a cool spell. I don't even think the Marlin from Nemo was spelled that way. Nah, it was spelled with an I. <laughs> Savage King, you did not smell oof right. <laughs> Here, there's a little custom oof emoji that you can spam if you want. Oh, fantastic. The one on the right. <laughs> uh, and you have the alley A symbol too. Oh, uh, Yusuf Zabair is asking why you want to do live streams. Because live streams are A, easier to do, B, um, they don't require um, mass editing. And I prefer um, doing the live streams because back when I uh, did like live multiplayer, also I'm getting trash in this race, but it's not ranked. But back when I did like the live multiplayer as a video, you know, you only got really a couple races, and uh, you didn't really get to see the true live to it. It was kind of misleading. So once I really go live stream, that's really where it's expansion. I look a lies. lot more Arabic with this lighting right now. <laughs> nah, Focus. you don't need to turn it on. It's just funny. Autofocus. <laughs> Um, also, do you have a video editing competition going on or something? Yes, uh, Ask Game Loss hosting a video editing competition right now. Because uh, uh, somebody's so, asking if you have to make them funny or something else. No, you just have to make it really sick. And uh, GL will pick the best um, one. Oh no, it was, uh, it's Anthony and Nikan are going to pick the best one. GL's going to like nominate them, I think. Mm. But uh, we're going to go on the meme track. We'll use the Shiran. Mm. Okay, well, my favorite car in the world is, um, well, two technically. One that's my dream car, and one that's just a cool car overall. Um, my dream car is a 1972 Camaro Z28, but I think a car that I would want in an attainable future is, um, the Tesla Roadster, because that just 
zooming by quietly at 240 miles an hour. Sounds pretty cool. Zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. <laughs> Break the speed limit. <laughs> but, uh, no. Carter, I actually want to get in the kind of near future. I guess more future is uh, the Audi RS5. I went to the auto show and I sat in one and I really liked it. Also, we got two more shoe runs. I was tempted to say, because this dude was like, oh, I'm a big Koenigsegg fan. I was really tempted to say the Koenigsegg, um, Riviera? Riviera? Riviera. Riviera. But I'm like, I feel like that's just a basic car to say, because <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> it is unique. It has no gears. It's just a single drive. I would want, if I could get it, I would definitely get it. But I feel it's like fun. that thing is too expensive. You know where Lake Forest or... is? Lake Forest has a Koenigsegg Riviera for sale. What? For how yeah. much, though? Uh, you have to call for the price. Oh, my Jesus. They won't even list it, but I'm sure it's over $2 million. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little fun fact. The only hypercar in the Chicago area is in Lake Forest, and they have a Regera. All right, here's the meme track. Who's going to die? <laughs> oh, my God. And he died. I think everybody dies at least three times here. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Somehow we're going to come up ahead, though. Nice. nice. But there are only three other cars, two other cars, yeah. so like... <laughs> only my clubmates. You have poor connection. Why don't you just Ethernet cable this? Because there's no Ethernet port on this computer. Oh, really? <laughs> this one, no. That's stupid. It's, um... Because, you know, like, all the notebooks are, like, you know, trying to get away from ports. So I have, what, I have two USB ports, an HDMI port, headphones, a Type-C port, which is useful, but no Ethernet. That's, like, the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, this one is an Ethernet port, but uh, this one's streaming. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use this one for gaming and that one for streaming? So this one has more power, so it can handle more uh, graphics. So, like, I can do that and have my stream alerts and the webcam on at the same time and stuff and not drop any frames. Uh. Uh, this one has lower specs, but it could run this game on Ultra, so I do that. Mm. Yeah, Ultra at 60 FPS looks pretty thick. I would stream in 60, but BU Secure is too unreliable. But, uh... The Regera events not wasting your tokens as much as the Shiran, I will say. You only really need the Apollo to spend your tokens on. Uh, Ace Ray, uh, I don't watch F1, but I have seen a couple of the races from... Luke is just watching stuff, and I've seen clips from Lucas watching stuff. So I guess I've just he... assimilated him into F1. Yes, he has converted me into F1 <laughs> because he he would play F1 2019, 2018, 2018, and I would just watch him play that all the time. And I'm like, this is cool. You know, we'll switch to the Fenner. There we go. I wish there was a streaming service that allowed you to choose what camera you wanted to watch from. For any for any live sporting event, really. Yeah, um, F1 TV does that, um, where you can have the onboard of all 20 drivers plus the TV feed. That'd be cool. And you can view two screens at once, but it's a paid subscription. I don't even pay for it because ESPN has the races for free. Yeah. I guess it's just so that you can be in the back seat of your favorite driver. Racing games make F1 cars accelerate fast as fish. <laughs> well, the that is true. <laughs> they do accelerate really fast, but some games make it where it's like instantly to top speed. Actually, it's a bad example of that. Although it kind of does that for every car. I don't really play um, A9 Breton, so I only I only get any A9 experience when I'm hearing him or oh, watching boy. him. Play, so. I got no nitro for that. That's stupid. I have no opinion on the Regera event. <laughs> I will say about the Regera event, I'll add in, it is better than the Sheeran event. What are you doing? It you just bid well, tokens and thing. race. You don't even bid tokens as much. The Sheeran was really horrible on your tokens. I spent I think twelve thousand tokens total on that event, which is horrible. That's like four hundred dollars worth of tokens. Jesus. Of course, I didn't buy any tokens, yeah, but you know, invest. Is it possible to make money off? No, it's not. Well, people do try to sell their accounts, but uh, that's against GLTOS and uh, 
I'm not going to try and get uh, that account banned because that would be a bad business practice. Yeah. I wish more games had the practice of you can buy like I'm going to use I'm going to use A9 as an example since you're playing A9. It's relevant. Um uh, fuck. What was I going to say? Oh, I wish there was a way that you could convert the coins back into money. I think that'd be more incentive to spend the tokens. Because then you would get those people... You would get a bunch of people buying the tokens, and then a bunch of people losing the tokens. So, the company doesn't lose money. But for the few people that do make enough tokens to make money back, it's not like they're going to be making millions of dollars. CSGO Lotto, join the chat. Oh, Jesus. We found this new site. Oh, mostly a troll question. There's another thing on here. Uh, oh, somebody said that Jesus made F1 cars, and I was going to say, if Jesus made F1 cars, how come they still need improvements? <laughs> F1 too. <laughs> and why are there different car companies, huh? <laughs> You spelled swearing wrong, asphalt racer. <laughs> He's like, no swearing, Marlin. This is a Christian server. This is a Christian Minecraft stream. Project Cars Go. I think that game's going to be overhyped. Because it's trying to be a sim on the, the phone. But you can't really do that because what? Is your phone going to vibrate as force feedback? How is that going to be replicated on the cheap Android phones that everybody has? If there so. were F1 cars in A9, they should all at least make a good game that involves F1 cars and not instead of instead beating the hell out of it. I don't know. I think Asphalt 8, when it first added the two F1 cars, it did it pretty well. Are they adding F1 cars to this game? Uh, not that we know of. Uh. I think people's mindset on F1 cars are go really fast, mm -hmm. really quickly, and fuck everything else. <laughs> Because you're just going to die anyway. <laughs> What's the point? Any video game that isn't, you know, based on F1s that... What the fuck happened to my controller? Hello? Can you even control yourself anyway? That sound. Well, this auto-drives now, but I gotta make sure I'm on controller. Yeah, what the hell? On gamepad. And it's not the battery. <laughs> it's on. What the actual hell is going on? <laughs> You don't see a cursor. My thing just died. That's it. And I can't switch it to keyboard, can I? Let's try this. Oh yeah, you could. I can switch it to that. Alright then. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything with this race. Yeah, right. Good thing it's unranked, but I'm not putting on a show, I'm being boring. Also, what happened to this controller? Why is it all of a sudden, like, shitting the bed? Do you think that race car games should be listed at AAA prices? Certain ones. And, uh, that's really how it goes, at least on the PC scene. Like, um... Assetto Corsa 2, or Competizone, whatever um, you want to call it, um, for early access, it released at $25, and as the game is updated, the price is going to increase until its final price at $50. So, I don't think that's so bad of a price for what's going to be one of the best sims of the year. Because <coughs> I feel like there are a lot of games that put the AAA... I feel like there are a lot of racing games, and sports games. I don't think sports games Sports games general, are just milk. I don't think sports games in general should have... Uh, sixty dollar price tag to them, especially if you're releasing a new one every year. Like F1 could do without the sixty dollar price tag if they're releasing a new one the next year. Mm -hmm. But obviously they're gonna keep it because money. Okay, but like, control back. They're gonna keep it because fat bank. But like, I don't know. Plenty of other games that are popular go free. Fortnite, Apex Legends. Uh, right, but they bank off microtransactions. F1 has no DLC. True. If you're talking about something like FIFA, that's a whole different realm. Oh, FIFA is just microtransactions with extra steps. <laughs> and this game is microtransactions with extra steps. But it starts free. Yeah. So. 
I don't know. I think microtransactions in general are just cancerous. Because it's just like, oh yeah, here's a $60 game. Oh, and here's some DLC. And it used to be DLC was like, oh Big yeah. Big expansions and stuff. Yeah, now it's that like hamburger meme. If you've ever seen that hamburger meme where it's like, yeah, what it used the same to be. Track. Let's do a different one. What, you, what it used to be. Uh, the whole entire game was a burger with everything on it. And now it's like, oh, you get the bun and you get that. And then you have to uh, microtransaction for the meat, and then DLC expansions for everything else. Yeah. And it's annoying. I think that picture is very old, so... But it still applies, and that's the worst part, is that they'll charge $60 for a game, and they'll turn out an unfinished game, DLC that doesn't really expand, but more fixes what was broken. Yeah. And then add microtransactions for all the overpowered stuff. I think if you think about it... Oh, wait, first of all. Uh, Breton, I think 2K games are okay, but I haven't played them in ages until no, my not. until my friend on our second floor had it and I played it with him. I wasn't bad at it. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar all the way. Just sitting in the paint, bro. But I haven't I, played 2K <laughs> since, like, 2010. <laughs> I haven't played... Before that, I hadn't played 2K since 2K2. That's how long it had been. I played 2K10. That was my last one. Hold on. I'm going to scroll up because they were mm -hmm. talking about something I wanted to talk about. Almighty Dark. Do I like 2K? Monster Car. Ew. Why a Monster Car? Oh, wait. Mosler. Not the Mosler. The Mosler. I'll show you what it looks like. It's an American brand. This is a Mosler. It just looks like an Aventador. <laughs> but well, it's actually more, more based of a... Looks like a McLaren F1 long tail is what it's kind of based off of. But it's got a ton of horsepower, especially the Land Shark version of that. Mm. Favorite color is yellow. Are we just going with my name being spelled with a Y now? <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already a meme enough. I started your oof meme. <laughs> uh, A8 is dead. Don't even play. Oof. Well, they, they murdered the game in the last update. Wow, really? What did they do? So, you can no longer replay uh, challenges you've already done. That's dumb. So, like, that's what people would do um, when we'd host, like, friendly competitions, you know, not unofficial ones. Mm -hmm. Just in the community wide, we do one of those challenges over because it's usually just a time trial. And, uh, no, now you can only play it once and you're done. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that I think the greatest game of all time is Minecraft because you pay less than $30 for a full game that constantly gets free updates that constantly adds new stuff it's basically as, if you think about it GTA 5 is a great game too because of that they both release free DLC they both release they're both one-time price tags there's optional microtransaction stuff like in uh, Xbox One edition and the Windows 10 edition. Um, they're just bedrock di edition in general. And like, everything's already there for you. And it's great. And then they're just like, here's some more stuff that you can deal with. And then there's mods and stuff, and mods are awesome. Minecraft is probably one of the most communitively, communitively supported games on the planet. How to install Minecraft mod no virus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have to agree that Minecraft is really revolutionary, and everybody played it. I mean, even if you die and deny you played it, you've played it. Don't lie. <laughs> GTA 5 is not so good when you deal with cancerous people who just blow your shit up. But, if you play that game with friends, it's a great time. Yeah, I, pl I love the single player GTA 5. And also, how dare you say that Minecraft is not so good. <laughs> Maybe not in 2019, but, uh, you know. Uh, 20, 2016, it was still pretty good. But that game released in, what, 2009? So it's 10 years old now. And it technically was out before that. It was in, yeah, beta before that, but... Yeah, I remember when I was, like, 10 years old, you know, at my one friend's house who had it. And we're like, holy shit, what is this game? You know, a year later, everybody's on it. But also, Minecraft is a super controversial gaming top game topic to talk about because everybody is either it's for twelve-year-olds or it's for whoever you want. 
screw yourself. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's kind of uh, it's kid oriented because it's so like friendly and innocent, you know. But the amount of stuff that you can do now is insane. Like if the base game, you can get bored with it super easily. But that's what mods are for. There are things like Feed the Beast and Tech It that add 50 to 150 mods to your game for you to screw around with that make it really complicated. Like, I'm on a server with one of my friends right now, and he is so far ahead that when I joined the game and walked over to his house, I had no idea what the hell was going on. So, like, to say that it's a game for kids is an understatement, and discounting the amount of stuff that you can add to the game yourself to make it better. But anyway, that's just me ranting. Fortnite is trash, though. Well, no, 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 no. Actually, I was thinking about this in the shower. Um, literally a couple minutes before I was getting out of the shower. Fortnite did a great thing. And f what that great thing is, is boost the amount of younger generation, the boost the younger generation into the gaming scene. They found Fortnite and they found it as an input as an outlet to get into the gaming scene. Because now, because it used to be games that were coming out were sequels. So you either had to play the games beforehand to know what was happening, or you had to deal with mechanics that were weird and wonky, like um, Metal Gear Solid 4, where you literally had to press three buttons to aim. But with Fortnite, it's just, you join in, you play with your friends, or you play by yourself, the mechanics are super simple, and you just... You go. You learn as you go. It's learning curve is harsh, and but kids still play it. So, with a uh, with kids enjoying a game that has a harsh learning curve, it means that when they go into other games that ha have harsh learning curves that are better than Fortnite, they won't be as prone to leaving or stop playing the game because of the harsh learning curve because they're already uh, adjusted to having a harsh learning curve, like in TF2 as well that has a hard curve for like everybody because everybody who plays is either newbie trollger or experienced trollger or something like that um i might have started a fire in your chat though, <laughs> so let me scroll i don't, up know, I don't have kids that just play fortnite i've been told to play fortnite back when like it was super hot like a year ago but i never did i still never played fortnite Never in my life. I'm kind of proud of it. You know, I've played the other Battle Royale games. I've played, uh, was it Realm Royale? I've played um, PUBG. I've played Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. And I think that's all I've done really for Battle Royale. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of the uh, the concept really of like you know looting and. You know, starting from nothing and trying to build your way up. Because every time I play it, it always just seems like while I'm setting up, I get picked off by somebody who's already fully ready to go. And I'm like, what? How'd you get that? Hmm. Oh, also, noob. Uh, the Minecraft automatically saves everything all the time. So if your game crashes, it's just like, oh, it's okay, buddy. It's right here. Which is cool. But also a pain in the ass if you die and you lose all your diamonds. You're like, yo! <laughs> The other thing I say Fortnite did was uh, it popularized cross-platform gaming finally, so now um, even PlayStation is doing cross-platform with uh, Xbox, Nintendo, and PC for not only Fortnite, but now Rocket League as well. Right. And um, they're going to eventually do more games that are more mainstream, but uh, those two are pretty good to start with. But, um, you know, next generation consoles will probably have something for cross-play. And also, people crap on, people crap on Fortnite because it's like, oh, kids, twelve-year-olds doing Fortnite class dances in real life is cancerous as hell. But like, then just don't do Fortnite dances in real life and don't look at that stuff. Just play the game for what it is. It's not a bad game. I play. I used to play Fortnite. I want to play Apex Legends because it reminds me of Borderlands, but a battle royale. I enjoy playing Minecraft. I enjoy playing all of the Call of Duties. I enjoy playing all the Halos, all the Gears of Wars. I enjoy basically every single game that I have ever touched. GTA 5 and GTA 4 included. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Like, basically, 
any good game, any decent trash or good game that was moderately popular at some point on the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One, I've played. I also play Civ 5, but that's PC. And Prison Architect and a bunch of other games on PC that are more RTS or strategy or simulation. But anyway, I'm ranting. <laughs> Marlin rants for an hour and a half about <laughs> random video game topics. I just don't like the fact that certain stigmas get stitched onto certain games because of what happens outside of the game. Or because of a certain few people being a toxic turd in the game. And then that just ruins the rest of the game. And, that's ha and that happens with everything else. And also, I liked God of War. I never played it. I played a little bit of it because the same friend who had 2K has it on his uh, PS4 as well. Yes, the that's PS4 a, game? Yeah, that's a great game. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I want to get that one. Um, I've got over 3 remastered, and it's pretty good. Also, uh, I want to play the Hitman games because I like those kinds of games too. I like stealthy type games. Alright, I only got paid to say those words. <laughs> I got paid to say literally everything that I just said in defense of every single game that has a trash name on it. <laughs> or at least a trash name stitched Conspiracy, to it. Marlon was paid to talk about other games so that we ignore the fact that Game Love murdered Asphalt 8. <laughs> Also, I haven't played Fortnite in maybe a year or so. Or at least I haven't focused on what they've done to Fortnite. I think um, people are switching to Apex, honestly. I think I think Apex has a great mechanic system because it allows you to revive your dead friend, which is great, because now you don't have to sit there watching your other friends play while you're literally just watching your friend. Also, I just casually got a another dub in this port. This one's going a lot better than us. But, uh, let's see. Up seven, not bad. We're now 26 away from getting to the elusive Legend League. There's this person who said, I've been watching you since the P1 was added. How long ago was that? 2014, which was right about when I started making Asphalt videos. Hmm. At the Dutch start in Asphalt 9. I think they already know that popular demand. I don't know. I haven't played Apex um, Legends. I, d I downloaded it on my Xbox, but I have yet to open it up. <laughs> also, I feel like adding normal cars to racing games is dumb. I feel like you, you will see the car that you own in real life in the game. Race it for a couple races, get bored of it, and it'll sit in your garage. The point of racing games is to race cars that you don't normally race mm -hmm. around in. So, adding uh, a adding your Land Rover LR2 to the game, in my opinion, is kind of dumb. I think the games should stick to cool muscle cars, cool supercars. But the point of the game is to drive a car you can't own. Yeah. Drive it in the virtual world. You know, I appreciate my dad's start being in Forza Horizon 3, but, you know, I don't drive that religiously. Because I own that at home. And I it's much more fun to drive in real life than with the arcade Forza physics. Um, yeah, to answer your question up here on why I don't play music, I'm not sure. I did a little bit of that over winter break, playing music on streams just to see, like, to get a feeler, see how you guys felt about it. And a lot of you guys didn't really like it. Um, or if you did, you felt, um, indifferent to it. So, I am doing it without. But I think, um, going without is not only safer for copyright reasons, but also, um, it seems to be more liked by you guys. But I do have... I'll take a note on why uh, you don't, uh, you want music and streams. The only problem with I find is that uh, you could run out of a playlist that's copyright free, because a lot of the copyright free music is pretty much the same. Different beat, kind of different tone, but pretty much the same. Especially like something like NCS. And I've been having a problem with NCS actually. They're claiming a lot of my old videos, because I guess the license on their no copyright thing expires, or maybe they get, I don't know, officially released or something. So, it's misleading, because now a lot of the videos that I posted, like, a couple years ago are no longer eligible for monetization, because I used NCS music. Um, 
that at the time was no copyright guaranteed. Now all of a sudden, oh, there's the license. Oh yeah, yeah, I have, I, it's not that I hold these unpopular opinions close to my heart and will defend them with my heart and soul, it's just to make other people aware of why certain games have certain things, because a lot of, like, with Nickelback, a lot of people will shit on Nickelback, I but hate Nickelback. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll crap on them for the meme, and that's about it, like, they won't listen to them and be like, you know what, they're actually not that bad. They'll just be like, nah, they're bad because meme. So, like, crapping on Fortnite because they're bad because meme. Or GTA V because they're bad because meme and toxic people who I never ran into when I was playing. And I wasn't that person. They're, that that stigma of, oh, if you don't run into the toxic person, you probably are the toxic person. That's dumb, too. I have a lot of unpopular opinions because... I like people making people aware of the reasons why opinions exist. I'm actually writing a book on that. <laughs> <laughs> Who even is Nickel Bag? <laughs> I saw a comment of about uh, normal cars. Um, a, a good um, candidate that is something like Need for Speed Underground, where you do take a normal economy car, but you rice it. You tune it. You give it neon lights at the bottom with a <laughs> giant wing and a front splitter and stuff. Basically, you turn, and you it, turn it, into it into a race A car. Japanese car. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why well, it's a lot of them are racer. Japanese. Yeah, a lot of them are tuner Japanese cars from the '90s. Also, um, niche enthusiast, I've never even seen Asphalt 8 gameplay, or if I have, it was only through Lucas, and I probably forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even when I first met you, that was when Asphalt Asphalt 9 came out in late July in the U.S. So. Uh, yeah, so before even I got here, I was already grinding it out. And I was sick of Asphalt 8 at the time. I've been sick of Asphalt 8 for over a year now. And finally, uh, when Asphalt 9 came out, I had an excuse not to play it anymore. <laughs> I just didn't like making Asphalt videos in 2018. There are a couple highlights from last year, but not as many as I did in 2016 and 17. Oh, these guys are all interested in stuff that I like now. <laughs> What's my favorite Senior. food? And also they haven't seen you in two months. True. My favorite food is enchiladas. They're great. Especially when my mom makes them with tortilla chips instead of actual tortillas. Those are the best. Um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was my childhood, says one person. I've never played Need for Speed. All three of the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit games on the PS1, 2, and 3 were awesome. In their own little ways. You know, some people say the third Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is the last um, true Need for Speed game. I would say that belongs to um, uh, Rivals would be the last true Need for Speed game. Although I could see why people think Hot Pursuit would be. Because what, after that you had the run which was a story based and not like most wanted. It was heavily story based with cut scenes and oh crap. Nice. I, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in on the fact that you paused for a second. Why are random people just putting in random cars like McLaren F1? Where's that other car? Koenigsegg CCX, Pagani Sanda R. I think that's what people want to see. see in the game. Probably. But yeah, I like Most Wanted 2012. Although I see why people don't like it because Most Wanted 2012 is like a carbon copy of Burnout Paradise, but with real licensed cars. I absolutely loved that concept and that's why I, I feel liked like it that'd so be much. cool because it's actually like The only cars. downside is that you don't get those epic crashes. But you still have the boost, you still have the billboards, the smashes, the secrets, the open areas, the fun online multiplayer. You just don't get the epic crashes that like Burnout has. Because they don't want to see their cars beginning well, yeah, to crash. Which like, was literally what you were explaining to me yesterday about why they have discount cars. Oh, and the reason why we were talking about the fact that they have unlicensed cars is because there's a, a car in that game that looks like a British-made car. TVR. There was a car in Burnout Paradise that looked like the TVR Sagaris mixed with, like, a TVR Griffith. But, like, the 2018 TVR Griffith when Burnout Paradise came out in 2008. So, TVR, you're copying. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, really not. Did you uh, just sorry. say, wear Lucas's cap? Nah, fam. Oh, shit. 
Wyland just threw, like, he has a giant stack of pineapple grenade caps, and he just threw them all on the floor. Whatever. They look like this. And then I have this one, too. I have my Deadpool cap. I don't even right. care that they're stuck. So it looks like I'm going to end this um, multiplayer binge at 1687, because we just ran out of our 918 again, so... Which means I'm probably just going to reach Legend League today. Because it looks like people are just about to bunch in. Also, I had a perfect run of the 918 there. So, yeah. But I played 2005 Most Wanted over the summer, and yeah, I have to hear that's one of the best Need for Speeds ever made. Um, you know, it's just a shame that um, we don't uh, really see that anymore. I wish there was online multiplayer with that. Guys, which one looks cooler? Pineapple grenade with a pineapple stem on top. Or Deadpool, because he may have his he may have his Lamborghini, but I got a unique hat and a Deadpool Lamborghini, hat. Ferrari. The fuck did you say, Lamborghini? <laughs> God, I just got I just lost brain cells on that. <laughs> Unsub Un your life. Beating me by rating by four rating. Oh. Well, he had a perfect run with the nine eighteen there, so. Yeah, I personally like the Deadpool cap better. I thought that was a great movie. And a Deadpool great character in general. Have you ever played the game? Grenade. No, I've never play played it. the game. From 2011, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, you have to play it. I've heard mixed things about it. I liked it because it was fun. Okay. It's not a perfect game. Um, But it's not like... It's I, a I think they just caught you saying Lambo no. <laughs> no cap. I mean, I've kind of just been going no cap the whole time. KSI Lamborghini. It's called Purple Lamborghini. No, that's uh, that's Big Ross. Rick, isn't it Rick, Rick Ross. Ross? Rick Ross. I don't <laughs> know why Ross. I said Big Ross. I mean, he's a big guy anyway. So, but um, uh, KSI does have a song about the Lamborghini. Though. Yeah, I know that was his first rap song, and it apparently made him popular enough to keep rapping. <laughs> Joji's better. But um, the Deadpool game. It, okay, so if the Deadpool game didn't have the Deadpool name to it, it'd be a decent game. It's not like the fact that Deadpool's name is on it is what is its saving grace. It's not a bad game. The mechanics are fun to screw around with. I sound like I'm the completionist right now. <laughs> um, just because the name Deadpool's on it doesn't mean that if it didn't have the name on it, it'd make it trash. It's a good game. I like screwing around with it. It's very hack and slash without being super hack and slash like just trash that man. a lot of japanese hack and slash games are where it's just like oh you have a hundred enemies in front of you do this one combo and kill all of them in one fell swoop you gotta like actually kind of know what you're doing so yeah i definitely ask you to check it out it's on one of my xboxes <laughs> so it's not like you gotta pay for it anyway brighton about playing spider-man um uh, unfortunately i hundred percented that game They were asking how my name was spelled. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I 100% the, the entire story, including finding everything. I did the platinum trophy, all that crap, because it was too fun. I was intending to do some streams with it at a later time, but that game was just so good that I like, screw it. I'll play uh, the entire game. Also, uh, somebody asked T-Series or PewDiePie, or none of them. Um, yeah. I used to love watching PewDiePie. I've I have an account that's been subbed to PewDiePie for about seven years. So that's I watched him for like three years in a row seven years ago because he would play cool games like an Amnesia and he would do random games and stuff. He basically seven years ago PewDiePie is what Jacksepticeye and Markiplier are now. He was playing random games that he liked playing and that people liked watching him play. And now he's more of a, like, vlog channel. I guess that's a good way of putting it. We're going to drive the Apollo N pass. <laughs> that's all I think of it, because it literally just called the Apollo N. <laughs> I just think of that video where it's like, Mrs. Obama, get down. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, PewDiePie isn't bad as a vlog channel, but I prefer him playing games. Like when he streams Roblox or other games that he likes playing. But, like, I'd like to see him mix it up by adding some more consistent racing, or not racing, more consistent playing games. 
Yeah, I have a lot of opinions on a lot of things, but I tend to keep them to myself because they kind of tend to be unpopular opinions. <laughs> because I realize, oh, damn it! I don't want to sound like uh, R slash I'm very smart, but like people, I am intelligent. <laughs> I the reason why I hold the opinions that I do is because I know the origin of the popular opinion, and sometimes the origin of the popular opinion is just a trash opinion to begin with. So, holding the unpopular opinion is a more logically sound one than just saying that the thing is bad and that's why it's bad. I hold popular opinions too, though. Like the fact that uh, the DCU right now... It's the trash. DCCU is trash right now, but they make great literally everything else. Like, the MCU is Marvel's greatest thing. That and their comics. Only two things they get really got going for them. Their video games are decent. Um, what else do they do? That's, Marvel. What what do they what do the D, what do the comic universes do? They do games, movies, action comics, figures, action figures, and that's it. That's all I can think of right now. But like, what the hell? Okay, I thought I was, was gonna land that sick, one. That was a weird spin. <laughs> Marvel uni Cinematic Universe. It's great, and it's better than the DCCU, which is weird to say. The, the Detective Comics Cinematic Universe has a lot of trash movies, or a lot of decent movies. The only movie that I think, because I saw a meme the other day on like how Thanos wanted to go save, to even out all the other universes, so he decided to teleport himself into a universe that was DC prominent, and that, it was The Flash, Wonder Woman, and Batman. And they all immediately, and he came in and he was just like, I am here to balance the universe. And everybody immediately rushed and hugged him, saying, finally, a decent villain. So, then I went into the... Oh, can I snipe him? I just sniped him. <laughs> Let's go. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Um, but, like, if you think about it, I think the only movie that has had a decent, uh, the only Detective Comic Cinematic Universe villain that has been decent in the past, since 2000, has been, hmm, oh, I remember now, the Joker from the first Dark, from the Dark Knight movies, the second in the Batman trilogy, oh, Z-Warrior, what did you say? I said, look at my comment. Where is he? Play Overwatch. Oh, I play Overwatch. Uh, I haven't played it in a while though. Um, I should probably get of, back uh, into it. Kind of dying out, maybe. Yeah, they always—they're really smart because when their game starts dying a little, they just add a new character, and then a bunch of people go back. And then they'll reveal like, "Oh, Soldier Seventy Six is trans." Or something <laughs> Fuck. Like that. Okay. That okay, is wait, my. Don't, don't go to tangent on. I want to get banned on YouTube for saying some <laughs> no, questionable no, 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 thing. No, 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 no. Um, all I'm going to say is I don't like the fact that game companies are, are trying to appeal to certain audiences by adding certain t qualities to characters and games. That's all I'm going to say on that. Because I know They are trying to adapt uh, their characters that were previously one thing and yeah. change them to something that fits 2019. Honestly, I'm not surprised that Tracer was gay. I had a feeling Tracer was gay from the very I'm beginning. I'm already Tracer. <laughs> So, I wasn't surprised that Tracer was gay when they revealed that she was gay. And I didn't understand why people got angry at the fact that she was gay, because, like, she looks gay. Soldier 76, on the other hand, that one seemed more of, a, an, of an appeal reveal, instead of a natural attribute that, like, his it makes sense that his character is because of the certain things that he does. It was kind of just dropped randomly as to make another play to, like, stay relevant, you know? That's not me saying anything bad on the LGBTQ community. God dang it, so don't try and twist it like that, because I know there are some people out there that like twisting stuff like that. I don't really have any, uh, super trigger audience. Ooh, one you guys are pretty chill. Yeah, so this dude just asked me one horror movie, one comedy movie, one romantic movie, and one X-rated movie to name. What? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I think he means just R-rated. Unless he means an actual uh, porno, in which case I can't name it. <laughs> there are potential kids watching this. I don't want to give them ideas. Right? Okay. 
Um, I don't really watch a lot of horror, but if uh, if I were to name a horror movie, I would say, um, what's the? It's Jim from The Office. Steve Carell. No, no, no. Oh, the other guy. Yeah. Predator's just gonna let me win on this. I, I don't need the I don't need the two reps that you get from this win. <laughs> what's the What's the name of that movie? You can't talk at all. It's not Bird Box because that one's you can't see. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh my god! Happy Death Day. Um, there was this indie movie um that I saw a while ago. It was an indie horror movie. It was about um this woman who was deaf. And there was a guy trying to kill her throughout the night. And it was, like, really suspenseful. Forget what it was called, though. Oh, Hush! That was it. It was called Hush. Oh, I know that movie. Yeah, I saw that. It was actually really good. That's one of the more recent horror movies that I've seen uh, that are really good. Crap! What's the name of that movie? That's gonna bug me. Okay, I'm gonna move on. A good comedy movie. Um... What's a, what's a funny comedy movie that I've seen recently? I haven't gone to the movies in a while, only to see Avengers. Uh, I saw Venom in theaters. Oh, and, and then the I saw Spider Bohemian Ra Rhapsody. Like, if you said instead of horror or good drama, I would have suggested Manchester by the Sea. I would suggest three good movies to watch today. They may not be in the categories that you want, but too bad. Manchester by the Sea, Interstellar, Daisy Confused, Daisy Confused. Comedy. That's that's your comedy movie. Uh, and Saving Private Ryan. Those are your four. Um, Honestly, anything with Seth Rogen is funny. Sausage Party. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's due to bad uh, bad uh, plot. A Quiet it's not Place. His fault. That's what it's called. Thank you, Brett. Quiet Place. I thought Quiet that's Place is kind of overrated, but that's, that's my opinion. <laughs> it's not bad. When I first like. Knew of the concept. I don't know. I think it's just it. too gimmicky, especially at the end. And no spoilers, but like, I don't know. I thought that was too like, oh, well, of course, cool. yeah. Yeah. And I got angry at a couple things in the movie. Hopefully, the sequel they don't mess it up, because like, it really isn't a bad movie. The ending is super gimmicky, and that's that's it. Uh. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. A lot of the movies these days are forgettable. Like, um, I saw Venom over fall break oh, and yeah. i don't really remember much in the movie i can remember the couple punchlines. i remember um the main antagonist was the guy from the night of um and i don't know it was just brock i think that was his name or eddie no eddie brock that was it um somebody somebody asked what the third one was so i'm just gonna put all three of them are all of the ones that i named because i don't remember exactly how many i named by the sea. Oops. Uh, you don't have to do everything capital, but... Uh, eh. I don't care. Uh, C. Just use two hints. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Interstellar. Context. Do a couple more club races to wrap things up. Dazed and confused. Looks like occurred this time instead of the meme trick. And Quiet place. I have the Sinar one. Oh, also, just Dark Knight, because why not? Dark Knight. Dark Knight was a good movie. Infinity War, if you haven't seen it already. There, those are my list of movies that you should watch. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite comedy superhero movies is Kick Ass. Have you ever I've seen never it? seen it. It's really good. But I heard that it has a sad part in it that I won't spoil because it's actually a spoiler. Well, it's a, just a really well done movie. Like, it's funny, it's got a sad part, it's got an awesome part. It's Kick-Ass. Literally. But the hero <laughs> is named Kick-Ass. Spoil it. Don't spoil nah, it. No, don't spoil it. Look it up yourself on IMDb if you want a spoiler. Right? Dragon Ball Super Broly. I haven't seen the new movie yet, but I want to. There's a Jump Force just came out yeah. on Friday. And honestly, um, the only good thing about it is its fighting mechanics. The story is trash from what I've seen. Also, uh, Interstellar may be an old movie, but it's only like 2016. Well, that's great Just lag. Big <laughs> lag right there. Thanks, Bradley. <laughs> but uh, Interstellar is still an awesome movie with a great soundtrack. 
And even though the soundtrack's been kind of memed, it's been memed with good purpose. <laughs> also, don't watch Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad sucks. <laughs> yeah, I remember I watched it on TV, and I just turned it off after 20 minutes. I'm like, this is not uh, entertaining, really. Oh, oh, also, oh com God. good comedy movie, Deadpool's 1 and 2. What? Hello? Kick-Ass is 9 years old? Yeah, it came out a while ago. I've never seen it. <laughs> nice. I'm just getting my car thrown everywhere. I've never seen Kick-Ass. I don't think I wanted to because of the fact that it was a spoof on superhero movies. Not that I, like, cared about superhero movies at the time. I was like, yeah, curious. It's just that it never, I never really found an interest in it. Is there any movies focused on gamers? Ready Player One. But that's Ready kind Player of One. It's mediocre. I uh, the, I think the only reason why I like it as much as I do is because of the fact that it literally hits all of the points that I like about being me. It hits on the fact that gamers being gamers. It talks about great rock and roll. It talks about early games. Um, Wreck-It Ralph actually isn't bad. I was gonna say Wreck-It Ralph Two. It kind of got disappointing reviews, just because, like, there's so much, um, just... They crammed as many references in there as they could. Kind of like the Emoji Movie, but not as bad as the Emoji Movie. Yeah. Oh, steal the win. Can we steal the win on this one? Um, but I think... Oh, shit, we did. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, um, the... I, uh, I think Ready Player One is a good movie because it can show what can happen. It It's a good social commentary on the state oh God, of the Pixels. gaming industry. Pixels is a horrible movie. Oh my Jesus, we're not going to Anything with Adam Sandler, in my opinion, is trash. Wait, what do... Brenton, what movie... What movie is getting a sequel with Jim Carrey? Because I was talking about several movies Pixel. at once. Oh, never mind. No. But also, yeah, um, check out Ready Player One. That's a good movie um, for... To, it's a good movie to it's tickle a good your fan gamer. Service movie. Yes, it's a good fan service movie. I and think in terms of an actual movie, it's not very good. It's just cramming too much references. But, uh, I don't know. For fan service, it's not bad. Yeah, I think the movie... Because Ernest Klein wrote the book, and he helped do the movie, and I think what his focus for the movie was was getting all the fan service out. And getting... I think he focused less on the story itself in the movie, although there was a big focus on the movie, and more on making sure that people recognize that this is a world that you can play anything that you want and do anything in if you want to read the book read the book because the book is where the meat of the story is and that's where it's great that's where all the commentary that the movie tried getting out there is also what is he oh talking kick us too yeah kick us too is um oh. i don't know people think it's not a, it doesn't do as well as the first one and i'd agree with that first one was really good you got to shoot it in the last race skadooshed Kung Fu Panda. Uh, the first one was good. Yeah, I loved the first Kung Fu Panda. I've never seen the third one, and I don't. I've never a seen lot of any of the sequels. I just seen the first one. Uh, the second one wasn't bad, from what I can remember. Uh, all I remember is the very ending when he like water bends a goddamn cannonball around his arms. Oh, was that that infinite scene where like uh, you know it's like a meme where it's like uh, hey, and then <laughs> they like it's YouTube poop. Not YouTube poop, but like the meme is where like the bird thing throws uh hey and Kung Fu Panda's like the person you're texting oh and just, yeah. he sends back left on red <laughs> yeah also I want to see Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse I saw that it's a really good movie I wasn't although what was that movie. scene with the black Spider-Man and that one girl how did that go down because from from, oh, uh, from meme Gwen? context yes with Gwen, where it's like hey yeah from meme context it looks like it's cringy and trash well, because he, uh, he talks in the scene, uh, in a minor spoiler, I guess, that's not really important to the story. Yeah. But uh, Miles, and he's the main character, on his first day of class, he talks to Gwen, you know, just in class. And, and then the second day, no, on the second <laughs> day, he approaches her and just does that. But it goes, of course, not as how he planned it. Is it way more cringy than that scene? The memes? That scene, yeah, it's a bit cringy. Oh, my Jesus. But the whole movie is pretty good. It's, I guess, cute, I guess, if you want to call it. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Accelerators is the best movie. I've never even heard of it. 
Accelerator. I think I've heard of it. I never seen it though. Heh, <laughs> Speed Racer live action. Honestly, we don't talk about that one. Uh, the Fast and Furious franchise, as much as it's now action, it's still like one of the best racing movies in existence. Especially the first two, and I guess the third one as well. Yeah. I want to see that one with The Rock and Jason Stratham. The just because spin-off? I like, yeah, just only because I like Jason Stratham. He's a great actor. He's funny. He's he's that he's that funny that he's over serious with his roles, and I like that. I think that's the point. Yeah. Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Everybody's forgotten about that movie. Speed Racer. I saw that when I was a kid. It was pretty good. Yeah, Speed Racer, the '60s TV show, is great. Good action movie names. Ooh. Valentine's Day is the same shizza. What's a good? What's a? What's a good? Uh, you're asking me, and I think because you're asking me, I can't think of them. But outside of that, I could tell you f- forever. Frick. Um. What's a good action movie that I've seen? You want to see Marlon drive an Asphalt 9? You know what? Screw it. Race my two teammates. Oh, no. Hey, they just started. You've played it before, right? Yeah. With the controller. Yeah. A is the nitro, yeah. X is the drift. Then, triggers for driving. No. Well, you can do that, but A and X are more responsive. Uh. Alright. Marlon's driving this one. He's going to drive the FXXK against my two highly skilled teammates. Read what two JC said. How come you ain't got no thoughts in the dorm room, bro? Oh Mother my god. Fucking... You know, I think I've said this, but I don't know if I've said this on stream. I was thinking, we could get one of uh, your guests, like, Anna or Josie or something like that, on stream. I think they would make a, oh my. a pretty entertaining guest. I don't think they're willing to wake up this morning. No, that's, that's the Especially only thing. after a Friday night, because all of... Okay, um, not to flex on Lucas, but I have more girl space friends than Lucas. And... The thing is, if I wanted to get them here, frick, um, then I would have to have them wake up early enough. But most of them like partying and drinking, so they are most likely, I am trash at this game, they are most likely, I forgot how to do a lot of the things in this game, actually. You just changed the camera, oh my god, you changed to the fucking... Oh, drifting is a thing! I totally forgot about that. And I almost smashed into that. This is just entertaining in itself. Oh my god, this is so bad. This camera's giving motion sickness. <laughs> I don't know how to change right it. Right stick. Oh, never mind. I hit Y. I keep it in close, but... And I'm off of the side. Okay, this is a drivable area, apparently. I am trash. Why am I doing this? I didn't... Okay. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. I will just die. This is what I get for reading comments. You should stream Clone Hero. <laughs> How to get copyright striked 101. Right. It's fine on Twitch, but not on YouTube. I'm only 50% of the way through, and these people are probably already done. Uh, yeah, they should be finishing in the next 10 seconds. Uh, let me think of some cool action movies while I sit here and last. Uh... Crap. Okay, you need to start naming action movies so that I can start thinking of action movies. Jason Bourne. Oh, yes! The Jason Bourne movies, except for the last one where it's not Matt Damon, are good. Mission Impossible. Uh, I haven't seen... The Mission Impossible TV show is pretty cool. I haven't seen the brand new movie with uh, 20, Tom Cruise in 2018. Yeah, Fallout. Uh, I haven't either. Mission Impossible, the one where he's running away from the big sandstorm, is pretty cool. I think that's four. I don't know. I like the Hitman movies as well, but that's not really action, that's more of a... Spy? I it is some action, but... Oh! Um... I the hated, First Kingsman! I hated, the First Kingsman! Okay, Brenton, I hated the Need for Speed movie, just cause like, and I know they were fake cars, but they just trashed cars, and like, it was pretty horribly scripted. Uh, the Kings, the first Kingsman movie is great, the second one is kinda... eh. It's a lot of fan service to Elton John and John Denver before John Denver got popular because of... You just got disqualified. <laughs> Whatever! Disqualified three minutes. Now, <laughs> interesting question. So he's disqualified three minutes. I'm going to do one last challenge. Can I beat Marlin's time from that Ferrari Fix XK in the Lancer? <laughs> also, your hands are really warm. 
Yeah, I know. I'm a warm guy. <laughs> I hated the uh, Need for Speed movie, though. Maybe if Lucas streamed at a later time or had a second stream later in the day, then I'd be able to get a girl in here to watch him. But also, that requires a girl who is okay sitting here. <laughs> and of my friends, I feel like it's pretty hard to keep their attention anyway. <laughs> But that just might be my insecurity. And they don't know me really well. Moving so. on. <laughs> yeah, you you guys would like to know, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, whenever I have friends in here, in general, um, Lucas is just kind of here on this side studying or whatever, and I'm over there on the Xboxes. So, like, if we were able to stream us playing something on the Xboxes or the PlayStation, then it'd be a little more entertaining. But, like, having everybody crowded in this corner, it's already kind of small yeah. as it is. Oh, I've never seen John Wick, but I want to see John Wick. Oh, I've Wick. seen both John Wick movies. They're pretty good. I forgot about that. There's a third one coming out, right? I uh, think so. Yeah, there is. Alright, so we have to beat three minutes on this using our meme Lancer Evolution then. Nature, you did kind of give me a, uh, a headache trying to think about stuff. Re reveal Marlin Girls, please. <laughs> Show Bob. Show Bob in the game. Nah. I can't do that. I'll get banned on YouTube. <laughs> what is time to beat? Three minutes. We're trying to beat Marlin's, uh... Great driving. No offense. <laughs> in the Ferrari FXK with our, uh... Evo. How many girls do you have watching your stream? I don't know. I can pull up the YouTube demographics, but, uh... Hey! Everybody put if you're a male or a female in the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't realize that that was a shortcut that was a viable thing. I thought that was just, like, me gonna get random. No, this up. has a lot of multiple routes. That's part of the asphalt thing. One person has said whether they're... Oh, I forgot that there's a 15 second delay. Yeah. <laughs> See, look at that. Four. Five. It's uh, how many? Like one. I think my demographics, like, in total, like, 11% You assumed 11 my gender. Female. No, I asked what your gender was. Ah. Should have used the 370Z. Nah, I still think I would beat it. <laughs> I identify as a turtle. Nice. Do any of you guys have a girlfriend? I have an ex who I'm still friends with. Hung out last night. <laughs> and I'm single, like I always am. <laughs> Elite Oksana. What? Oksana. Is she watching this? No she is this Russian girl from S48. Ah. But I think she left the game. I think she got <laughs> married. <laughs> MTM left and then came back to everybody saying male. I was asking what people's genders were. 219. So we beat it by 40 seconds. Trans, lesbian, shemale. If that's real, good for you. If not, nice troll. <laughs> <laughs> we are all car boys. Weird flex, but okay. Wait, what did I say that would have been a weird flex? Oh, me hanging out with my ex. <laughs> that's the only thing that I could think of. MCN, you got the life. Of All course right. he would beat my record, god dang it. <laughs> I'm trash at this game. What did we peak at? 193 viewers was our peak, nice. So, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end it there because um, at this point I'm just aimlessly club racing, so. Ace Ray, I fully agree with you. Um, but, yeah. Wait, but do you like being signal because... Sing signal. Do you like being single because you like being alone? Or do you like being single because it allows you to smash multiple whammon? I like being single because you don't have to blow all your money. Alright, that's valid. <laughs> oh, and Thanos is here right before I'm about to end it, so... I fear him, but uh, unfortunately we're going to have to end that stream right as he appears, so... Uh, yeah, oops. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>